What's up guys and welcome back to Face Over Matter. It is your girl Jay here and in today's video I wanted to sit and just do some makeup and just try to rejuvenate myself and just feel a little bit better. Um, if you guys have peeped out my last video, my Motivation Monday, um, I was really vulnerable and just sharing some things with you guys. So just want to be in better spirits and just try to get back into the groove of things. Is that okay? All right, so I am first going to prep my skin. I just recently, I don't really, I don't do this all the time, but I do shave my face and I use a facial blade and it just gets rid of the peach fuzz and I'm, I'm a really hairy person, so I have hair all over my face. All right, and real quick, I'm going to apply, well, I've already applied, someone called me in the mist, but I already applied this Ole Regenerous SPF 15. I apply that all over the skin, a nice little layer. And we're good and tacky and prepped and ready for makeup. So I got some new products in the mail. I actually got a few new PR packages that recently dropped in the mail. So I was super excited about that. So I already got some laid out up here. I got a lot of products going on here. This is the box. I'm not even sure what's in it, but we're going to see real quick. Hmm. So this is what it looks like in the front. It's still the I am what I make up. So let's put a little booklet so it's that on the front open it up <gasps> this is viva glam k oh i didn't know this was a her viva glam k yeah that's awesome okay so i guess ooh, i'm just dropping everything all right so we got a lot of stuff we got some eye palettes colorful eye palettes hello hmm. yeah we're gonna play with this palette today so before we even get into that let's do the face real quick i don't have any new facial products even though i did get a huge pr package in the mail from um l'oreal paris as well ain't god good favoring your girl lord have mercy we got concealers in this drawer and then all of this up here is foundation so isn't that awesome okay so face is prepped so i'm gonna actually start with some stuff from buxom cosmetics because they sent me the big pink one that you guys seen first. All oh, this is from Buxom. It's a ton of stuff in here. That I was trying to film the other day, so I've actually already opened some stuff up. But this is the Divine Goddess Luminizer Buxom Luminizer in the shade Venus. It's like a skin luminizer, like a highlight, like a liquid highlighter. You can use this on top of foundation or under it. But because I want the glow, I'm going to use it on both. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. Not too big of the smell almost smells like chemicals we're just gonna say in jesus name and apply it but i'm gonna actually just put this on the top parts of my face where i'm gonna usually highlight anyway my face gets so red when i rub it so red foundation so i've actually dabbled back into the covergirl true blend matte made foundation i'm sure you guys remember this foundation i did a review back on it a little while ago a lot of people did reviews let's be real um a lot of people did reviews and i was trying to get back into it because I was getting a little discouraged the other day because I was in and out of old to trying to find the exact shade match for me in um, the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop. And honestly for me, I don't think I have one and this is not shading the company at all, but I was just giving my two cents. I don't think I actually have an exact shade match. I was using Warm Honey and I've tried all of them in my shade range and Warm Honey is the closest to me. But I'm going to try out another color. If it doesn't look right, we're just gonna take it off. But this is T30 from CoverGirl. And we're gonna try that using a sponge today. And if it's not the color, then we'll just go with something else. The only thing about foundations is that I have a hard time trying to match it with my neck. Um, my face is naturally lighter than the rest of my body. So a lot of the times when I do foundations, I try to match it to the rest of my body. So I end up having to have a darker shade than my face. But I've noticed, I don't know if it's because if it's getting cold or what, but I've just noticed lately like it's just not matching. So again, this is T30 and so far it's looking really nice. I'm a little skeptical about it because I did swatch it. But yeah, it's really hard trying to find my foundation shade. I don't know what the deal is. It's just... Hmm. I'm just gonna leave it with that and we're just gonna go from there. So next, going into concealer. 
I was trying out a new concealer. This is from Revolution. This is the Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer and Contour. And for my highlighting, I'm gonna use C12. And this concealer is really like, I don't know, it's really neutral. I'm not used to those kind of concealers. I'm kind of used to just those like yellowy type of concealers. So I wasn't opposed to using this. I just wanted to try something new because I seen Revolution was recently being the topic of conversation. And I just kind of wanted to try out and see what it was about. I know they actually came up with some foundations. I haven't tried them yet. All of my brushes are literally dirty. So it's like I'm trying to use everything clean. So I clean my beauty blender. <laughs> so here we are. All right, guys, how are we looking on camera? We look okay? All right, and then I also got C13, which is the next shade down, which that's a little confusing because this is C. This is what I just concealed with. And then this is the next shade down from that. And this is what I'm going to attempt to contour with. So big jump. Yeah. And then the next one down from this was really deep. So I was kind of like, mm, I don't know if that would be ideal for me to use as my contour. But now that I'm looking at this on my skin, I kind of wish I did grab C14, I think it is. Because this is C13. So yeah. I was kind of hoping I did go back and go get C14. But overall, the concealer, um, it's not my favorite. And I don't think this will be a go-to concealer. It is nice, though, as far as the full coverage. I do think it has nice full coverage. Other than that, I don't think it's terrible. And I can definitely tell it kind of mattifies down to the point where it's it's not like, how do I put it? It's not, that, it's not one of those contour things where it's really creamy and you can see the shininess and you know, it kind of takes away from that whole, you know, illusion. But yeah, honestly, I think it looks well. And I was really interested in seeing how this concealer operated since I do use the Revolution setting powder. I've been trying, like anytime I do like product reviews, I really try not to watch other reviews because I want my own opinion. I don't want to have to end up forming my own opinion. Not saying I do anyway, but I don't want to ever have to try to form my opinion around what someone else said about it. I just kind of want my own raw opinion. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Revolution um, Luxury Baking Powder in the shade Lace. Nothing new with the powder, you guys know I don't use a whole lot of this, so if I'm using a brush or a sponge, I'm using very minimal powder. This is a very drying powder. It does set, it does set, I'll give it that, but it does, you know, it does dry down really bad. What the heck? All right, can I be honest? <laughs> All right, something's going on over here. It's like the product is being picked up over here. I don't know. Because now I'm looking more, you see, like it still doesn't match. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, I don't, it's such a struggle trying to find your shade. But anyway, we're just gonna go along with it and we're just gonna go from here. Now I'm gonna take this bronzer from Buxom. This is the Hot Escapes bronzer in the shade Tahiti. And it's a really nice shade. I try not to use a lot of it because it's more like a deeper shade, but it has like these gold flecks in it that give it a really nice glowy bronzy look. So I try to focus it right into like my socket of my cheekbone and then just kind of dust a little bit elsewhere just to kind of get that color payoff. So overall about the concealer, I don't think I will continue to use these. These were only seven bucks, so they're not super, super expensive, but I mean, 14 bucks, I could have got gas with this. So next, let's go ahead and do brows. Um, I was gonna use my ColourPop, but I just remember we got some new products, so I'm gonna dabble in those. Let me see, they got Easy Breezy Brow Sculpt. They have a couple of shades. Yeah, they have, um, 720 that's too light i think i'm gonna end up being the third one this one is 715 it's like a cool tone brown they have a really really dark one not even gonna pull that one out i think i'm gonna use 710 i think this is what i've used before anyway so it's nothing new i know recently i was getting back into using a pencil on my brows but for today's vid we're gonna use something new This looks really good. I'm gonna, um, if only they had a spoolie. They don't, they don't have a spoolie with it, but just take whatever spoolie you want. I'm just gonna comb through my brows at the bottom and just see how much product I can pull up into the other parts of my brow, just so I'm not adding too much. I just wanna say real quick, thank you guys so much for your prayers. Thank you so much for your emails and messages. I've been getting a ton since 
my video Monday. Um, it was really overwhelming, but guys, I really do thank you so much. All right, so what I can say, I don't know if the formula changed. I don't ever remember it being this, like, movable. <laughs> Honestly, this is not doing what I thought. I don't remember it being this movable, guys. Like, it's being really movable right now. But since it's here, <laughs> this is the ColourPop Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Banging Brunette. I'm just going to fill it in just a little bit more. All right, I'm moving on from brows because it's starting to irritate me and it's not trying to do right. Something is not looking right on my face today. I don't know. I'm, I'm just really trying to keep going and not lose my cool. Um, okay, let's just move on. Brows are okay. Not really feeling them, but I'm not spending any more time on them. Yeah. Let's go ahead and move to the eyes. Wait. Oh, it has a smell. It smells like chocolate. Oh, they smell so good. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go in with this first shade. All right, so you know they don't be having names and stuff, so... I'm gonna use this shade right here, it's like a taupey. Well then again, why, why be limited to one palette? We got three of them to choose from. This one is called Peach Punch. This one I really like. Mm. Peach Punch is pretty. It's got some peachy colors in there as well. This one is called Sunsets. So that one's called Peach Punch. This one is Chocoholic and this one is Sunset. Ooh, I'm going back and forth. Okay, I'm just gonna use Chocoholic. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. I'm gonna use my Anastasia brush. A little bit of kickback, not too much, not too bad, but it's okay. All right, let's go in and see what this looks like. All right, so this is definitely more of a stony, like, and it's blending like butter. Wow, looks really nice. All right, let's go ahead and do this eye. All right, so this is a nice cool tone shadow and it blended really really nicely and these drugstore they stepping it up with everything I'm loving it so the next shade from the chocoholic palette that's actually gonna give me some dimension is this one I was really trying to avoid not even going there but I mean we're already here let's just do it I'm gonna go in with this color right here I'm just gonna take the little applicator that comes in with the palette I'm just gonna start by tapping this on where exactly I want it now this shadow, I'm getting a lot of kickback, but it's okay. All right, so that wasn't bad at all. Okay, that worked out. I really wanted to try out this color in the middle. It's really pretty. It has like these different flakes in it. Whoa, that swatch was intense, okay. But how pretty is that? I'm just gonna take the green shade. That's just what I was gonna use beforehand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. I'm gonna try it out with the applicator that it comes with. And we're just gonna apply that to the lid. We didn't got smoky for real. I ain't done one of these in a minute. All right, that looks okay. I'm not getting a lot of like, oh yeah, that's green. Because in the pan, it looks like this, and then on the eye, it looks like that. So it's like, let's apply another color on top maybe to get some, get something. Let's apply this color. This one is from the Sunsets palette. This one right here. I'm going to use the other side of the applicator, and hopefully I can maybe highlight the inner corner and bring in some life. <laughs> just really powdery just really 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 powdery and this green shade is popping up like a, a a really dark green like it's not even like on my eye it's not even green like I promise you it's not green I'm really trying to save this makeup look because it's like the shadow is going everywhere okay all right real quick I'm going to um 
I don't even know what I'm trying to do. All right, so we're definitely dark up in this mug. Okay, um, all right, so we've, like, I've used CoverGirl liners before, so I'm gonna give Buxom a try today. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try out this waterproof eyeliner from Buxom. And it's called Here's My Number. Oh, it comes with a sharpener at the bottom. Yes, okay. All right, here's my number. And it's a really, it's a it's a dark brown. It's not a black. I thought it was black, but it's a dark brown. So yes, I definitely want to use this today. Not black. I didn't know I needed a brown eyeliner until today. Yeah, I like it. I'm going to take this to the top as well. Very creamy, very buttery. I like that a lot. Okay. All right, so I know CoverGirl has a mascara, but they, I've tried their mascaras before, but like I said, I'm just trying to give Buxom a go here. They have this Lash Mascara Blackest Black. All right, this is kind of like OD for a, a mascara. Why is it so big? My eye is not freaking golf balls. I like how many things it has in it. That way it could really break down and get each lash coated down with mascara. I do like that. But what I can say, it's not really giving me any like volume that I'm like, oh my gosh, this is crazy. So I am gonna go and reach for the CoverGirl one. Why are these like jumbo sized? Like y'all, our eyes are not that big. We don't need that much. Oh no, ma'am. All right, so the eyes don't look terrible looking at them, but I can just, and it could be my blending. I just, it doesn't look as blended as I would like it to be. I just feel like eyeshadows that are really powdery like that, I feel like the longevity of the eyeshadow is not going to stay. Let's take a look at this other palette. This one is called Days, and this is a really colorful, like rainbowy palette that they came out with. Let's just, let's just swatch some of these. Now, these are nice. These do not feel dry. Well, that one does. Ooh, that's okay. All right, so I don't have a blush, but what I could probably do is take one from the palette and just try to make something happen out of that. <gasps> okay, that's 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 a negative. This this whole makeup look is terrible. I'm just gonna, I don't, like this, I just, so I got a lot of lip colors from, ooh, I got a lot of lip colors from Buxom. So we're just gonna try to find something that will give us some justice here today. All right, this is like a dark lip color. Let's, let's see what this is. It's like a lip gloss. Very misleading, very misleading guys. It's not the same. All right, CoverGirl has a lip color. It says it's a top coat though, but this is in the shade nothing. They don't have one. Let's see. Ooh, mm. the color is nice. The consistency is nice. A very opaque. This is nice. It smells like nail polish though. Y'all ever smell something like that? It smells like nail polish. All right, so this is what we're getting down to. Um, I'm gonna go back into the Buxom highlighter, illuminizer, and we're just going to somewhat highlight. Hopefully I don't ruin the rest of my makeup. So this lip color is drying down. I didn't know it was gonna dry down, but all right, let's use, I need a brush, because the last time I used my finger, I ruined it. All right, let's use this brush and See what this highlighter does on top. Okay, I need a sponge because this is going too far. Ooh. You guys, this is being, this is too much. I feel like Halloween right now, for real. This is like OD drying down on my lips. I didn't know it was gonna do that. I'm gonna take this Master Chrome highlighter 
from Maybelline. Give me some highlight. Now, I will say I do like this illuminator from Buxom. It's like a highlighter base. My lips are entirely too dry, but look at this. Look at that. I'm not, I'm not huge on this color for me, but let this come in a brown. Let this come in a nude. Let this come in a pink. You know what I'm saying? This is nice. This is actually a nice pretty purple, though. To be perfectly honest, I do not care for the palettes just simply because they are very powdery. I was actually really excited about, I love the color scheme. I really love the color scheme of the palettes. They're just too powdery for me. And then this green shade looks really nice in the palette. And then you put it on and it looks black. It's just, didn't really like that. CoverGirl, this, is, this does not take away from CoverGirl and what they stand for and all that. Like CoverGirl is an awesome brand. This, nah. Their True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I love their foundation. This just was not a good color match for me. Again, I'm just trying to test out new foundation colors just to kind of see what's really my color. A lot of the times I pick a color and I stick with that and I don't even test out other colors and I wonder why my foundation is not matching. So this is just me trying to try out another color. If it doesn't match, don't like it. I look red. The undertone is like making me trip. The lip color, I will say I do like and I like what it's doing. It's like kiss proof, like it doesn't transfer, but if you could tell up close, like, like it's breaking, it's breaking apart. It's already, it dries down fast. I'll give it that, but it's breaking apart. I don't like it at all. Also the bronzer, the bronzer's nice. The bronzer's okay. Um, I think I just have to use it without using that cream because every time I've used it so far, I've used it with that cream and I don't like it together. So I think it, that's what's ruining it, ruining it for me. These Revolution Concealers, I don't like it. Like I, I gave them a try, I don't like it. I just, they move. You know, and sometimes you think using it with the corresponding brand, it will help it. I think it works better. I think the powder works better with a different type of concealer, but with the Revolution concealer, it's not terrible. I just, over here, it was moving, and I just don't like that at all. I'm just in a position where it's like, I'm not enjoying this makeup look. Okay, guys, so overall, I, I really don't like really anything I've tried today. <laughs> this is me just playing in some makeup. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, but yeah, but be sure to check out some of my other previous, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, but just be sure to check out some of the other makeup reviews that I have. I feel like I'm probably in higher spirits in those videos, but <laughs> just pray for me guys. I love you guys so much. And until next time, God willing, I will definitely see you all in my next video. Mwah.